Need to put the ghost on. Ooh, that music's still playing. Is it? Is the music off? Is the mic on? I think it is. If you enjoyed the music, you can find a link to it in the description. It's part of the uh, YouTube royalty free music thing. Well, I think I'm all good. I think the sound's all working. Good to see you all. I see that there's a number of you already chatting away. And yeah, a few of you were here quite early. Who was the earliest tonight? Of course, it was Helen who was in the chat at 7.49 p.m. Now, I think eight o'clock might be the new time going forward. I'm no longer doing karate on a Wednesday. I'm gonna do it on a Monday instead. So um, yeah, we might, we might stick with eight o'clock. So tonight we're gonna be doing absolutely anything because I couldn't think of any other ideas. <laughs> um, although I know a number of you wanna talk about link building, so we could talk about that very briefly. I don't wanna go into that into too much detail. Um, I'm gonna do a video on link building, which I hope to get out this week regarding Pinterest link building. So I'm working on that. I'm just basically doing a load of Pinterest stuff on the Roofbox site, and of course I will do a video. Do you have a tea with you? I hope so. So let's do some hellos. Hello to Helen, hello to R7. Hello to Richard Bagshaw, good to see you. Hello to Joe, who's been writing a few articles for Bow Wow Tech. If you go and take a look at the site, the last two blog posts were by Joe, very kindly supplied them to me for free. Um, who else we got? Phil, of course, Phil is here, who has been helping me with my managed VPS server. Uh, basically, I've been moving everyone, uh, a lot of my clients away from WP Engine, and Phil has provided me with a lovely server. Been helping me when I keep breaking it. I'm still using SiteGround for a number of my other affiliate sites, and I've still got a TSO account. I've got too much hosting. Too much hosting. Hello to Jason. I know you're talking about a big increase in subscribers. Not that I've noticed. They keep going up nicely, but I um, didn't notice any boost, I don't think. Maybe they have. I see there's already 12 likes and one dislike on the uh, on the stream. I don't see someone's trying to, trying, trying to trigger me there, but I'm not going to talk about the dislikes. Or indeed, some of the negative comments that I get. <laughs> Um, someone posted a comment the other day that they hate me, which I thought was a bit strong. Uh, um, yeah, hello to Tazed GD. Did I say hello to you? I don't know. Hello to Richard again. So you did um, your site during last week's stream. That's cool. Um, who else? We got aspects of Lee. Hello to you. Hello the Furman. Good to see you again. Hello, best tech reviews. And we are live. Yep, live right now. Stephanie's on a work call. Hello to Stephanie. Did I not say hello? Maybe I didn't. Um, best tech reviews. That's Tony, isn't it? Hello. I'm rubbish with names, as you know. Hello to Steve. Good to see you. And well, to Steve, Steve Robertson, and Steve Spears. Spires? Spears. Hello to Ollie, hello to Xenofall, hello Gaz. Don't worry about being late, hello Tribal Khan. I was actually pretty much on time tonight, I think. Maybe even one minute ahead of schedule. Hello to Shannon from Alaska. That's really cool that you're on from Alaska. But it's fresh there. Hello to Satisfying Moments. Hello to DJ Marky Boy. Just set up your site ground fast and it's super fast. Good to hear. So, I do have a couple of sites to review as well this evening. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I've got a list over here. Um, just checking the video quality. It always looks way better on here than it does on YouTube. I don't know, I don't know what that is. But I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I'm not gonna fill around with lights all night. And hello, the Nighttime Entrepreneur. That's a great name as well for a channel. Oh, I think I may have just broken the stream video. I've gone up in the corner. Um, let me see if I can fix that. I think that's better. Transition. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> so anyway, if you've got any questions, do fire away. But while you're thinking, oh, hello, Cyan, Siobhan, Cyan, Cyan, oh, me and names, eh? All right, let's uh, let's do some site reviews while we're waiting for the questions to come in. And um, let's see what we've got. Let's do that. Let's move that. Oh, look, have you seen that Google Chrome for Mac has now got uh, support for the dark mode? So we're, we're in dark mode this evening because it's night. <laughs> Why not? And then I will suggest that we'll talk about a bit of link building. I've got a couple of ideas on my head that we can we can talk about. I'm sure that you've all got some ideas for link building. So that we can talk about link building. It seems to be something that everyone does struggle with. That's because it's hard, isn't it? It is hard. It's hard. Ooh. I think I just shared all my um, top secret notes again. There we go. There's another top secret note. So I've got a couple on my list. If you would like me to review your site, then leave it in the chat. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to get to it this evening. We're going to run for about an hour to around nine o'clock my time. M and JK, you're back. Good to see you. And yeah, hello to all the Project 24. So Carl is on as well. We should um, talk to Carl, maybe. Um, That'd be good. I, maybe Carl, you could join me on a live stream, maybe via Skype sometime. That would be really cool. And we could talk about, um, I think we're gonna have a call tomorrow morning, aren't we Carl? We could talk about that. That might be good because you've had an amazing lunch, dinner, whatever with income school. All right, I see there's a couple of questions. I'll do a couple of questions quickly before we get onto the site reviews. Um, DJ Marcus says, thank you for fixing my site. That's fine. I do try and fix things if I can. Uh, I did see some questions. Where is it? Conspiracy says, how do I feel about Cloudflare Content Delivery Network? I think it's good. If you've got a bit of a slow host, it's worth having. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of hosting now provides you with a CDN. I did a video on Cloudflare. I liked it when, well, because they give you free SSL, but now lots of hosts do that anyway. They're not that important. I think they're worth going for, worth trying, and see how they impact your site. MJK says, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Um, the chicken, obviously. Um, but the chicken may have evolved from a fish. Um, possibly. Ollie P says, hi Alex, do you know an easy to use plugin to make your YouTube video pop up when clicking on a link I want to load videos, but keep them on my site instead of sending them to YouTube? Well, I guess any kind of pop up system would would do that, would allow you to embed a YouTube. There's not one that I'm thinking of, I've, I've never done that. Gaz is still frustrated. He's sending people over to Amazon and they're not converting. I hear you. Maybe it's time to add some other merchants, which is another video I'm going to be doing really soon. I'm going to add some different merchants to uh, Best Roof Box, but I haven't done so yet because I tried to sign up for some and they rejected me. So I need to work on that. Um, Michael says, I have a few decent affiliate sites, about 10 months old, but Google just doesn't want to know. Do you think sandbox time has increased? No. What niche are you in? Is it something like health or something like that? That could be a problem. Have you built some links? That can really help. Xenophil says, any tips for SEO? I feel my pages aren't getting recognized, especially unique niche content about Raspberry Pi, you are going to need a couple of links. Have you submitted your site to Google Webmaster Console and submitted a sitemap? Have you been researching your articles and making sure that they are um, yeah, not, not too competitive, but they've still got people looking for um, what the information is? Um, yeah, and you're going to need to build a couple of links, which we're going to talk, talk about in a minute. 
Uh, Atik says, what type of affiliate is the most profitable? Uh, it depends on the niche, doesn't it? Some niches you get a lot higher commission, but it's a lot harder to get ranking. So that is a very broad question. I don't think I can answer that. Can you, Thomas says, can you review my work in progress blog? Okay, so there's a couple of sites going through. Let's go, let's do the site reviews now. So we've got designblog3d.com. Let's do that one first from the chat. This one is from Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Ooh, this looks nice. Mm, what's this theme then? Modern. Mm, I like the theme. That's nice. I'm going to make a note of this theme. I like it. Um, I might do something with it. So yeah, but so yeah, I love the look of it. So the niche is um, obviously design, graphic design, interior design, not graphic design, interior design. So let's have a look at some of this content. The first thing I have spotted is that your connection or my connection is not secure. You haven't got an SSL certificate installed. So I'd recommend you do that. That will help your SS, that will help your SEO. And it's just good for visitors. If you go with SiteGround, by the way, my link is wpeagle.com slash SiteGround. You get a discount if you use that link. You'll get a free SSL as well with your hosting. Or you can check out Cloudflare that we mentioned earlier. That's another way of getting a free SSL. Wow, so this, I mean, is it just a blog? Is it an affiliate site or is it just trying to be a blog? Because if it's trying to be a blog, then it's, it's great. Definitely doing it and I love the design. To say it, it's lovely. Kind of wishing I'd have used this for um, for best roof box now. <laughs> Love it. What, what's this? Oh, you got like the language translate as well. Like it. So yeah, I think you're doing fine. Keep adding content and keep doing what you're doing. It's really good. Uh, but yeah, get that SSL certificate installed. That will help. Next one is from the Nighttime Entrepreneur. It's the AquariumBros.com. Where'd you get this niche idea from, eh? <laughs> Ooh, well, it's quite nice looking. Well, we've got some nice looking sites this evening. Smart theme by Optimized Press. So this is obviously in the uh, fish keeping niche in aquariums. So again, you're another site that's not running an SSL certificate. I recommend that you do that. Um, looks like you've got loads of content. Coolest freshwater aquarium fish, how to clean aquarium grass. These look like um, blog posts that you have researched. Best aquarium thermometer. Do let me know when you submit your site if you are getting any traffic, how old the site is, if you're making any money. Oh, you've added some products there. I'm not sure whether these are needed. They don't, they make the site look a little bit cheap, whereas it was looking good until I saw those. I think you'd probably be fine just by adding links and things to your content. So yeah, don't you, I don't like these. I think they look too, Addy, they look like ads and people don't like ads. When well, you've whacked a big ad there as well. And an ad there, and an ad there, and one of them there, and that, 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 yep. Yeah. So my feedback on this would be, it looks like you're in a, a good niche. I think it's a good niche. We know someone else who's in a similar niche, don't we? All, they're probably in the chat right now. Um, so yeah, the content looks good. However, it looks a little bit over monetized, I'd say. And yeah, what I mean by that is too much of this stuff. You know, just do a link, a text link, get some driftwood from Amazon or check the price of driftwood on Amazon. That's fine. I like this, this menu thing, that's nice. 
Too many AdSense ads, I'd say reduce them down. You can stick one in the content if you want, but look at that, that's just ad, too much ad. Um, and then for this stuff, I would use the site stripe image. And yeah, not these, these image and text things. Don't like them. I think they look, make your site look cheap and they're too addy. But other than that, good work, keep it going and well done. Now, let's just head over to Bow Wow Tech for a second. I just want to show you something that I've been doing. So this is one of Joe's articles. Oh look, there's my analytics. It's exciting, isn't it? There's two people on right now. Is, is one of them you? So what I've been doing is, I we all know that the site stripe images are a bit small and not always that good. So I have been a little bit naughty and I've just been getting hold of these images from either the manufacturer's website or from Amazon. Don't tell them. And I've just been sticking them on because they're bigger, they're clearer, and the site stripe images are small and horrible. Now I'm gonna probably do a video on how you can adjust them with some CSS, but that's a bit of a pain as well. So I've been finding some nice images that are better than Amazon's generally and using them. And the way that I hope to get around <laughs> Amazon's terms and conditions is I've not linked to Amazon with them, which may not be great from a conversion point of view, but it means that I'm probably not breaching the terms. Probably, don't quote me on that. I've got my link here to Amazon and here, and these are all Amazon links, so that should be fine. But yeah, still chipping away at Bow Wow Tech. It is earning a bit of revenue as well now, um, slowly but surely. I'm gonna do a full revenue report video soon. I really want um, Best Roof Box to get a sale, which I'm hoping it will do very soon because it is getting clicks and it is sending traffic to Amazon. Right, let's do a couple more um, reviews just while I'm on the computer. Where's my note gone? So this one is Bearded Dragon Answers. It's by Richard, who I think it will be on, if he's not on already. It's a work in progress. It's only got four posts um, so far, so it's not quite finished, but it's again, it's a nice looking site. He has got the SSL working, so that's good. Um, what is this theme? We don't know, it's hidden. I think it's, a, this is, a perfect example of a good niche, a very specific niche. You know, some people think I'm gonna do a pets website or whatever, but no. Go within the pets niche, go deep, deep within the niche, and you get down to things like this, which is you know very specific, baby bearded dragons. Perfect niche. It's great to write content about. There's probably not that much competition, but it's good. One thing I do like on this site is this. Look at this. Doesn't that look great? that 3D cover image. And if you wanna do that kind of thing, there is a load of Photoshop templates available. Um, where did I get one from? I think I probably got one from Graphic River. You get them for a couple of bucks. And then all you need is a, a flat image and it will convert it into a 3D book like this. And doesn't that, I want that, even though I don't have a Bearded Dragon, I want that book because it looks so interesting. So it's a great way of building an email list. Look, you can get hold of this um, a secret manual for free. All you gotta do is put your name and email in. So it's a great example of building a list. Um, lovely content with lovely images. There's a video in there too. Nice long content. Got the related posts going on, so got some internal links. I think this is gonna be a great site when it's finished and it's in a really good niche. Now, of course, the people that share their sites with me, they do so in good faith and they, they trust that you, the good viewers tonight, all 55 of you that are watching right now, are gonna be inspired and encouraged by these sites. You're not gonna rip the niche off because this site is already established, this site is good, this site, um, the niche was you know, someone else's idea. Don't be a loser, don't you know, steal people's niches, come up with your own niche, you'll have far more success and people will just like you more. Okay, we've got one more site review, which is a kingdom site. I 
I'm gonna get back to the chat in, in one momento. So my first comment is this site is running too slowly. Way too slowly. Now someone left a comment the other day on my hosting review saying, well, you're a bit of an idiot. They might not have used that language, but a similar sort of tone. You know, why are you running an e-commerce site on basic hosting? Well, the thing is a lot of us can only afford basic hosting when we're starting up, which is why that hosting test was done with that site. And and I think, you know, the point that I've, well, the thing that I discovered by doing that, that hosting test was that you can run a full e-commerce site on cheap hosting, like SiteGround on their basic package, it works fine. So yeah, but this site is running too slow. I don't know who it's hosted with, um, but I would suggest that you first off maybe try optimizing it. I've got a couple of videos on how to optimize it, make it run faster, install a plugin like WP Fastest Cache, um, decrease the size of your images, that might help. But if it doesn't, hosting is gonna be the easiest way to get this site running faster. If it runs faster, your visitors will stay longer, it'll get uh, better rankings on Google. It's just better, we all know that. But anyway, first impression is this logo is too big. My other first impression is this is an interesting niche, I think. Again, this is a, a good example of a niche that's been well thought out because a lot of people think, well, I'll do sports or something like that and, and whatever, but or I'll do basketball. But no, this one is even more specific. You go into basketball and then you, you know, just focus on doing basketball at home, not professional stuff, just home stuff. Great idea. But I think if you, um, I'm just trying to reduce this logo down so we can see what it looks like. Um, get this logo a bit smaller, which it's not letting me do. I don't know why. Is it this? Uh, that's too small now. Yeah, I'm thinking like this kind of size would be better. Then there's a bit too much space from the Thing, but you can adjust all that in the kingdom settings. This slider image is probably too big as well. There's quite a bit of scrolling. I don't know what's going on here. They're slightly broken. There's no, is there a blog? Uh, here's the blog. So yeah, you're gonna need plenty of good blog content for this site. I see you've added some products, that's fine. But it's gonna be the blog content that really brings you in traffic. So you've got two posts, you're gonna need a few more. Um, and then yeah, just do some research on basketball from home, how to practice basketball at home, different techniques, different hoops, balls, you know, basketball, playing basketball at home when you've only got a small garden or yard or driveway. All those I think could be good, but obviously run them through Google, some of the other tools that I've mentioned before like Uber Suggest, and yeah, you'll have loads of ideas for content. I think it's an interesting niche, but and a few little tweaks here and there on the site, I think you get it looking that little bit better. Maybe adding a bit of a color scheme behind this uh, menu so that it's not just white. I think that's what's making this kind of top area look a bit big. And yeah, sort out the site speed. It'll definitely help you. Right, let's go back to the chat. I think that's enough site reviews for now. Because we've only got about half an hour left and we've got to talk about some things. Yeah, I'm back. Where were we on the chat? <laughs> that one is, yeah, lob. Okay, where did we get, where did we get? Yeah, 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 yeah done that, done that, down one. So, Cole, yeah, half past 10 on the call. I think I've got your phone number, or am I on your Skype? I can't remember, we'll sort something out, I'll find it. Rich said he joined Income School last week, well done, Richard. By the way, I did a video on some WordPress YouTubers you've got to watch. I think I put that up on Monday. We check that out. Be interested to know. I see that Omar Omkar has been timed out a few times. I don't know what he's been up to in the chat, but thank you, moderators. ZH said, which is good, WordPress or web development? WordPress, of course. So much easier, quicker, cheaper.
yeah, I don't know what was he saying. Anything too offensive? Anyway, don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, Emma JK says, "Is there still such a thing as low competition niche? And if so, how do I find one? I decide not to be forward with chess. Not enough volume. I'm trying to find low hanging fruit. I'd have thought chess would be quite a good niche. Possibly too much competition. Um, when you get into a niche, I think." you're not gonna find a lot of volume. Like bearded uh, dragon lizards, whatever they were. Not gonna be huge volume on that, but there'll be enough to earn a good living in, on a on a recent, reasonable niche uh, affiliate website. But keep in mind that you're looking at lots and lots of keywords, you're gonna create lots and lots of articles, 30, 50, 100 articles maybe for your site. If each one of those, you know, has got 100 searches a month, you know, fairly low volume, then maybe even less. That soon adds up to being in you know, a ten thousand visits a month. There's only four. You haven't built any links yet, but you've submitted your site. Maybe it's only a matter of time. Keep adding content. Tim's bought his first article from Texton. So you might have seen a few weeks ago, Income School did a video all around different content mills. They reviewed three different content mills. I think they decided iWriter was the best. So me not trying to copy that idea or anything, <laughs> well, sort of am a little bit, I'm gonna do the same. I've all ordered five articles from five different companies. I've ordered the same article, which I think is slightly different to what to, um, to what Income School did. I've used, I think at least four of the companies are different to um, the ones that Income School did. One of them is Fiverr, because a lot of you guys are always asking about Fiverr, should you buy content from Fiverr? So I did buy some content from Fiverr. It's not all been delivered yet. One of them was delivered like within 10 hours. The next one, the Fiverr one was delivered the next day and the rest are still pending. The prices range from like $15 for an article all the way up to something like $80 for an article. So yeah, they're all on the same topic. I'll give you a spoiler right now. The Fiverr one completely missed the point and wrote an article about something completely different. So I've gone back and asked him to rewrite that. Don't know if he will. But yeah, that video should be out soon. I think it's gonna be really interesting just to compare, you know, asking for exactly the same piece of content, same word count, same subject, and just seeing what the difference is. The text are not good. I've all the articles pretty much on uh, Roofbox. Best Roofbox are all um, from Texton. And it says, I'm fuzzy on SEO. Can you dummy down KGR versus buyer keywords and when to use each? Okay, so a buyer keyword can be a KGR keyword, if that makes sense. So the KGR is Doug Cunnington's formula just to identify keywords that are of a low competition and of a reasonable search volume. So people are actually typing them into Google. So it enables you to create content and hopefully rank quite quickly because there isn't much competition. A buyer keyword is a keyword or a search that implies that the person is looking to buy something. Let me give you an example. Someone does a search for a um, LCD television, okay? That may look like it's a buyer keyword, but it's not really, because we don't quite know what the intent is behind that search for LCD television. We got an idea that someone's obviously looking for information on a TV we don't have if they're looking to buy one, if they're just looking for a picture of one, if they're, I don't know, looking to for technical support on it. You know, it's, it's two words we don't really know. Whereas if someone types in best price on Sony 50 inch Bravia widescreen LCD TV, you know, like maybe a 10 word search, we know that they're about to buy because they're looking for the best price. They're very specific about what they're looking for. So the chances of them uh, converting are very high because if they find a TV of that particular make and model at a reasonable price, they're gonna buy it. That was quite badly explained, but hopefully you get the idea. <laughs> the theme on the design blog was modern theme. I made a note of it, modern theme, which is not a particularly original name, is it? Wow, hello Tim, have I said Tim? Hello Nick.
Amazon tells me that the direct import Chrome extension will be available next update. It sucks importing one by one. I've got 900 products in one by one. Wow, that's a lot of work, Nick. Doesn't redirect. You just need to change your WordPress URL to include the S, HTTPS, and you should be fine. Or install simple SSL plugin to get your site redirecting to SSL. That was the fish one we were looking at. Hudson says, if people Google your site name, will keywords be associated with your site name, associated with your brands? Not quite sure what you mean there, possibly. Although I'm not quite sure what you mean. <laughs> I don't think they will be associated. Are you saying some types of your site name and then some keywords they'll put the two together? I'm not sure. I don't know. Jack, um, I assume you don't remember me asking for a collab video last Wednesday. In fact, I sent you an email. Did you? I don't know if I saw it. Let's have a look. I get a lot of emails and I'm really bad at managing them. I don't see an email. Can you email me again and we'll talk? Uh, the chat has just jumped down. I've lost my place. I've lost a spot. Phil says, see my post on embedding Amazon images in the mastermind group post it's just this evening. We will do Phil, if you're interested in checking out the mastermind group, just have a search on Facebook for the WP Eagle mastermind group and do ask to join and we'll let you in. Or Helen will probably. Xenophil says, how long should a good niche site start to take getting revenue, say 100, $200? It could be six months. Pastor Duke is in, who's I know having great success with his Amazon affiliate sites. He says to change the Amazon image size, find this in the site stripe image code format equals underscore SL 160 and change the 160 to the pixel size you desire. Good tip. Stephanie says, thanks for the Bauer Tech update. Is it ever a good idea to use a question as a headline? Yeah, why not? A lot of people search with questions, so you know, answer them with uh, your article which has a question as a headline or a title, that's fine. Yeah, there's a few people sharing the sites in the chat, that's really good. Nick says he has a beardy. Ultimate re Universal Remote Reviews is Tim's site. We had Tim, obviously, in the video just a few uh, weeks back. He's doing quite well. Everyone's saying the Bearded Dragon site is definitely a good niche. We can have a look at your site, Tim. I'll do that in a second. I don't want to do too many site reviews, because I do want to talk about some SEO link building in a second. But we'll do that on the computer, maybe. Hudson says, do you do SEO consultations? Not really. Do I have pricing? I kind of do. If you let me know what you want, I could probably drop me an email. I may consider it. Tammy says, Jack says you could, uh, choosing a niche around a public figure can work quite well. And Tammy says, I didn't realize it was legal to use a public figure's name without the consent. Generally it is, but you've got to be careful when using things like photos and stuff. And some people have actually trademarked their names or branded their names. So yeah, just be careful, you'll be fine. But I think generally you can. Tim says, if anyone is running social warfare, there was a major hack exploit, which there was, yep. Yeah, so make sure you update your plugin. Um, Mark says, has anyone had attempted logins this week from Nepal? I've had 75, they tried admin test my domain name and tried password reset to gain access, but luckily, the IP is on a block list, yeah. Make sure you're running something like WordFence to prevent those kind of brute force attacks.
Right, let's just quickly have a look. Tim's site, and then maybe this other one, the Adrenaline and Grit, because that sounds very interesting. Let's just transition. So, I think this is a good niche. Again, this is a very specific niche. Great example of a very specific niche. So we will think, I'll just do technology. No, 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 that's far too broad. You start drilling right down in technology and you get down to things like this, which are like remotes that you can use on anything. It's a nice clean site, Tim. What's the theme? We don't know, but probably said, you're running social warfare. Did you update it? Hopefully. Let's read the blog. So how well is this site doing, Tim? Because you've got loads of great content. And it's a really good niche. See, I, I like the way there you just, you don't mess about with the uh, with the getting the people over to Amazon and cooking them. Straight away, big button on the homepage, bosh, over to Amazon, you're cooking. See you later. Like it. How much is it? Is it doing? I think that's a really good site. Thanks for sharing. Let's have a look at this last one and then We'll do a bit of link building. Well, we'll talk about link building. So this site is by Nick. He's only had it up 14 days. It's running a little bit slow, Nick. So again, yeah, check my optimization videos, possibly check your host, check my hosting review thing. Okay. Now my first thoughts is this logo and this background thing is not working for me. Um, I think if this was black, it would look better then the logo would be fine. I'll take the background off of the logo and add a different color behind, maybe white. The font again is a little bit icky in my opinion. This is only my opinion of course. Um, that's a new thing on the inspector, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Um, the menu is on two lines, which is another pet hate of mine. You can reduce the padding within Kingdom in the options. So, you know, reduce this padding down and you should be fine. Or just reduce the number of the items you've got on the menu. I think you're gonna have to reduce the number of items you've got because, yeah, I can't get that down enough. Maybe a little smaller font, I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit small, I'd just reduce them. Maybe have like subcategories These images are a bit big, aren't they? They need to be resized to fit the slider. You can hide the um, page title. Again, that's a kingdom option. That'll make that look better. You've had loads of products, that's great. This footer widget thing is far too long. <laughs> yeah, I don't want, you don't want it that long. Let's have a look at your blog. I think, yeah, add some good, you've only got, I know you've only just started to site, so there's not too much uh, content on here. But again, do some research around what people are searching for. Extreme sports or sports, whatever, may be too broad. Maybe, because, you know, each one of these, Under Armour, swimming, swimming's too broad, probably. Dirt bikes, dirt bikes for kids, they're probably a niche all by themselves. You know, you could do a whole site on dirt bikes for kids, and that would probably be a really good niche because it's very specific. Um, this may be too broad. That's my th thoughts on that one. Right, no more site reviews this because we've only got 20 minutes left. And if you want your site reviewed, I can do it next week. Just email me and I'll add it to the list.
And of course, the email address is up there. Richard says, I write it was terrible for me and would have been better feeding my dog $50 or £50 pounds and letting him write it. I think I write, so I say, was income school's favourite. And Telly and Teller 28 says, Hi, how to how do you automatically switch affiliate links based on a user's country? If with Amazon, you set up Amazon One Link, which I did a video on just a few weeks ago. Have a look on the channel, you'll find it. It's Amazon One Link. Pastor Chick says, I wouldn't use any of the sites Income School try blindly in the blind. Are you not a fan of Income School, Pastor Duke? I know you're, you're team Doug really, aren't you? And I know them two don't always get on or see eye to eye. Um, good, Redwan, I hope your site's doing well. I am well, thank you. Joe says she's loving doing my articles, thank you. Ricewin says, or Ricewin, I have been trying to post one article a week up to 10 currently and promoting one product today on Instagram. Do you think this is a good approach? Um, yeah, I mean, just do as much as you possibly can. I think one article's a week's fine, but it's gonna take you a while to really build up some good volume. If you just up that to two, then you know, you're doubling your output. You might get there or where you wanna be a lot quicker. Scott Halford says, um, I've kind of jumped down in the chat a little bit. I've missed a bit, sorry. Um, do you have to pay tax for your paid Amazon voucher? I don't know. I don't know, I don't. I don't think so. I wouldn't think you do, but I don't know. Don't quote me on that. That's a question for an accountant. Tim says, a word of caution on Amazon One. Don't join other countries until you have traffic or you will get booted. That's true. Amazon do like you to make sales, otherwise they kick you out of here. Jack, you've resent your email, have you? Let's see if I've got it. I can't see the email, I'm just looking now. And it's now I'm distracted by looking at other things. Let me come back to you, I'm back. Uh... Jack, yeah, I've... let me just check my spam. I don't see anything, Jack. Try contacting me through my website. Uh, go to wpeagle.com and then go and uh, just fill in the form on the contact us page. Nick says, how do you get it to run faster beside normal cash? You get a good good quality web host like SiteGround. Remember wpeagle.com slash SiteGround for your discount. We love Game of Thrones. <laughs> Tammy says, is Buddy Press a good idea? Looking into uniting like minded from my site, not sure if it's worth it. It's, it's okay, it adds a big work overhead. I found I had it on WP Eagle, adding things like forms and stuff. It's just, you get so much spam and you need to moderate it and you know, I ain't got the time. Hudson, I don't know, that's an interesting idea that people might search for your site and then add some keywords on Google and then Google will start to associate them. It could, could be, could be. Could be a thing, but I don't know. Ollie says, Alex, what's the best service to get an ebook done if you don't wanna bother with design and formatting and you just submit a manuscript to someone for them to turn into an ebook? I've never, maybe I did. You just want a good writer, don't you? Fiverr might be a good place, but I think they're always of a mixed quality on there. People per hour, Upwork, any of those places might be a good place to find someone to help you with that. Helen says that your hosting company should give you an SSL certificate for free and that is very true, they should. Uh, 
Patrick says, I'm currently building a new site with your video with Reebok, so I don't really like the theme. Oh, why don't you like the theme? Tell me what's wrong with it. Um, will it be hard to use another theme and follow your steps? Um, no. It's all Elementor, so it's all pretty much the same. Ah, uh, yeah, tell me what's wrong with the theme. Maybe I should have used a different theme. Okay, okay, okay yeah, 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 I'm just trying to get through the So past is not a fan of income school because of the attitude and when people actually ask questions they what they say and because I've seen them skew examples to lead people to their conclusions. Fair enough, and they I didn't never realise they recommend Bluehost, which is yeah, they're not good. I didn't know that, but I think they do pay good commission. Patrick says you like WP Ocean. Yeah, that should be fine. You've just submitted a form, Jack, through WP. Well, let me just see if I've got something come in. Um, Steve Roberts says I can't afford SEM Rush or hey, HREF, so I'm stuck with the Google Keyword Planner. Should I invest in better tools? Hmm. Google's fine to start with. I'm going to invest in Ahrefs. I decided it's one of those things that you probably do need it, but it is very expensive, isn't it? Very expensive. Right, in the last 10 minutes. Well, that's the nicest thing anyone said, Mr. Poe, that my hair, your my hair reminds you of Justin Timberlake. That must have been in his bad hair period. <laughs> Okay, Hudson, that's interesting. I guess, I mean, it, it makes sense that Google would link things together that people are typing in. Let's transition. We've got 10 minutes or so left. Let's do some link building, talking about link building ideas type thing. Hmm. Who's broke my site? Oh, there we go. What's going on there? That was weird. So I've been doing a little bit of link building for this one. I say a little bit because I haven't done a lot. The first thing I did was a bit of Quora. You know this is like one of my favorite places to build links. I don't know how good um, the links are, I think they're they're fairly useful. The reason why I say they're fairly useful is because if you do a search for like um, roof box for Audi Q3, I don't know, is it Q3? I, don't know, I can't remember. I think it's something like that. I'm pretty sure that there was a war, maybe that's the wrong car, I can't remember now. Anyway, I do a search on, on Quora around my niche. Like this one, and basically just answer all the questions in the hope that I might get um, a link. So here I am, here's a link to my storage idea article. So I have done a video on building links with Quora it's not had any upvotes. If you might be like bored one day, you could come in and go onto Quora and maybe upvote some of my answers. Just do a search for Roofbox, you'll find them. I think that would help. Um, yeah, there we go. See, look, 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 look. See me, I'm like the top answer on that one. It was a Q5, <laughs> not a Q3. So all I do is take a little bit of my article, add it to Quora as an answer to the question, include a link, I hope for the best. But yeah, that Quora question was coming up 
fairly high, I think. Oh, no, no, there it is. And see, that's my answer there. So that's one way to build some links. Quora. The second way, and probably the best way, is to do some guest posting. So that's doing some uh, outreach to other sites that are related to um, to your niche. So I might do a search for car type sites, uh, car accessories, and then I want some sites that are willing to take an article from me. So then I'm going to do a little speech marks and type in here something like write for us. So the first thing that comes up is this site here, autotrends.org. Now, I don't know if this site's any good, you'd want to do a little bit of research. Um, so yeah, they're saying that they'll accept articles, so you'd, you know, fill in their contact form, send them over a really good article. Just make sure that it's fitting. I don't know if that is suitable, you know, but you get the idea. So then you could go through here, the garage gully, garage -ally. They want a thousand words. Low quality spammy content. You know, all of these sites are up for it. I think, you know, you're not going to get an article on each one of these, but autonews.center. I will do a video on this soon. But a lot of them, um, you know, you can find all these sites, they all want content. So you write them a great article for their website, and within that article, you can include a link maybe in your author bio about you or, or something like that. You should be fine. But you know, there's like 10 sites here I can see already that are up for taking an article. That's two ways to build links. Now, so I'm going to do a video on Pinterest soon, but Pinterest is also a great way to uh, to make some links because everything you pin, every image generally links back to a site. So, I don't know what these all are. I'm hoping nothing too dodgy is going to come up. God knows what I've been looking at on Pinterest. Um, I did have the Pinterest kind of toolbar thing, it seems to have gone, which like made it really easy um, to pin stuff. But if I wanted to like pin, create a pin, Um, and then uh, I have not been on here for a little while. I need to obviously practice for it. Oh. Let me just, I just want to pin this image here, look. Uh. Here we go, yeah, yeah, I want to pin this, add to pin. Tell everyone what the pin is about. Amazing roof box. Choose a board. My fave things. Um, the video that I'm going to do will be way better than this. this. Is just a quick one. Uh, create uh, amazing roof box. Save. See it. See, there's my lovely image, and as you can see, it is a link, link through to the site, like that. So by doing some good boards and linking up with other people, there's more to it than just pinning stuff, really. And you need to do a lot. But you know, Tim, if you saw the interview I did with Tim a little while back, um, he had some great success um, with Pinterest and the Tailwind app. But you know, don't don't overdo it. So that's three ways. Um, other places to get links. Places like Reddit is a good place. Um, 
So I'll do a search for Roofbox Reddit. People are talking about stuff. And then you obviously want to get involved and if you can put a link in, but don't be too spammy. You're gonna to need to build up a little bit of a, um, a reputation on things like Reddit and just forums in general. But they're all great places um, to get some links. I think that'll do for now. I think that's a few ideas for you to go with. The best way to be fair is gonna be submitting guest articles or guest posts to um, to other sites that are in a complementary um, niche or market. Is that good? Well, let's go for another five minutes or so, five, 10 minutes. Let me see if I can get through any of these things that I missed. The chat is just buzzing away tonight and um, Dana says you don't need paid SEM rush or Ahrefs. Tim is getting some UK sales, that's good. I said I'll be here, sorry, it might be late. Oh, Adrian wants to, sh okay, okay, yeah, yeah. This is especially for Adrian. He's interested to know about my thumbnails. So, this is how I do a thumbnail. Let's kill some of these tabs. The first thing I do is I need to remove the background from an image. So to do that, I use this amazing tool, remove.bg. You can do it in Photoshop if you want, but this is easier. I select a photo of like me. Have I got one to hand? Probably, here we go. I don't know what this is gonna be, so let's hope for the best. It's me, there we go. Bosh, background's gone. Download it. Now, if you want a high quality download, you do need to pay for that, but you generally this quality is fine. So I save that. I then open this file in Photoshop. So let's do that. You just check, you can, can you see me now on the Photoshop? Yeah, I think you can. Here we go, we're in Photoshop. And I'm not sure you can see the menu. Let me just see if I can adjust that. Um, no, I'm not sure you can see everything, but hey, we'll go for it. So up the top in Photoshop, in the menus, you make sure you've got this layer selected, which I've, I have. You've got a layer menu, this brings up this, and then within the layer menu, you've got layer style, and then go to stroke. I add a stroke like this, which is like eight pixels, it's outside, it's white. You see that's now added that white line around. It's not very really clear because I've got a transparent background. The other thing I like to add is a drop shadow. Click there. So there's me there with the drop shadow and the white line. I then save this. Um, what should we save it as? Some Just keep it as a PNG. Don't need to resize it or anything like that. Let's just call it something like my head with white line. <laughs> That's descriptive. Ooh, I don't know why I'm trying to save it again. I then would then go into something like Canva, um, which let's just get this there. You see that? Okay. So you're going to Canva which is a free package. I think you can pay for it, but you don't need to. Generally, we'll copy something I've already got, but you can just, Ooh. I don't know, what what's that? That's not what we want. Let's make a copy. 
to start from scratch. Let's get rid of this. That looks familiar, doesn't it? That <laughs> thumbnail. I then would go to upload, find that image. Where did I save it? In documents. In my head with white line. See, it's, it's perfect quality size. Add me on. There's some lovely backgrounds in Canva, or you can get your own like this one. It's all right. Look, dunk, 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 dunk. That's it. That's how you do a YouTube thumbnail. Right, it's time to wrap up. Let's see what other questions we've got before I go. Bye bye, Carl. Got, he's got several articles to format before bed, so he's got to go. Wow, he's a busy man, Carl, isn't he? Tammy says you love my rehab tutorial. Re a rehab theme is a lot of work, though, Tammy. Scott says he likes Blue House. No problems. Good support. They're not that fast, though, Scott. Not that fast. You could be getting much faster for your money. Check out my hosting review. <laughs> The, the WP Mastermind group that I mentioned is here. Let me just get you a link. If I can find you a link. Here we go, I'm putting it in the chat now. Whisperhub also uses Bluehost. Well, that's fair enough. You guys can use Bluehost. I'm sure they're fine, but they weren't that fast when I tested them. Tim says, does it help with Google rankings? Do I link in social sites? Hmm, I think it can do, yeah. Uh, the Facebook group doesn't require an invite, although you do need to be approved. Uh, Whisperhub says, is it all paid backlinking bad news now? No, I don't think so, it still goes on. There's a site that, there are some companies basically asking me to do a sponsored video. I'm, I'm on the fence whether to do it, but they basically offer a paid backlink service where they get you editorial on some big sites like Mashable, and you know, big newspaper sites. The links are like 2,000 quid or something. But they're offering me a link for free if I do a review. So I'm tempted just to check it out and let you guys know <laughs> what it's like. That oh, was my last example not a transitioned. Oh, did I not, did that thing not work? Did I forget to screen share? Oh, I'm gonna do it again then, I've got to do it again. Okay, what I did was, and I'm gonna do it really quickly. <laughs> I went to remove bg. Doc remove.bg I selected a photo which was on my camera but it could be anywhere is the screen shared now I think it is oh I love it. my production skills are, are second to none really I did that there it is there that's what I did I download it I put it into Photoshop here selected it I went up to to layer the layer menu I went to layer style selected stroke let me just Move this down a little bit, so I think you can see it there. Yeah, layer, layer style, which I think you can just about see. I went to stroke, and it was a eight pixel stroke, it's white. I also added some drop shadow. I then saved this as a PNG. I then went into Canva, and uploaded it, and there it is. Oh, God, how embarrassing. I always forget there's two screens on this um, thing <laughs> and you have to press the transition button for it to transition, obviously. Transition! Is that better? I don't know. 
Well, on that rather embarrassing uh, end to the stream. Yeah, it's, I don't know why it's got a, a thumbs down. That deserves a thumb down. That incompetence when it comes to video production. But um, the, the thumbs down was here before we even started, I think. Someone just does it because they know it winds me up. And it's that guy that hates me. I know there's a guy that hates me because he left a comment. Because I talk too much and my face is too close to the camera. But if you did enjoy tonight's incompetence, then please do click the, uh, the, the like button. That helps me out. Hudson says, if your new article ranks 67 from Google, how the hell do you get it up? We'll give it a bit of time, build some links, do more articles. Caffeinated blogger and lifestyle in space have some great Pinterest tutorials. Can you use Canvas to create pins in proper sizes? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm hopefully gonna try and do. Currently I turned off my on-site cart button. This is from VK, so when people click on buy products, they're redirected to Amazon. I want this button to work as an add to cart button on Amazon. Okay, you just need to turn it on in WooZone. The same place where you turn it off. I am real in all my incompetence. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I'm gonna go. Thank you all so much for your contributions and joining me this evening. I hope you did enjoy it. I say the Pinterest video will be up soon. I'm gonna do an update video on Best Roofbox soon. Done a few bits and bobs on it, added some more content. The content mill video will be up soon once I've got all the articles back from all the different content uh, service companies. Um, which should hopefully be next week. I mean, they shouldn't take longer than a week, surely. Yeah, thank you all so much for all your comments. Remember, you can get WP Eagle t-shirts and merch over at WPEagle.com. I'm not wearing one tonight. They're all in the wash. Dan, yeah, go and launch your site. Go and do something amazing. Yeah. And as Helen says, if you missed anything, you can re-watch the live stream. It'll be available in around 30 minutes, including the chat on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm going. I'm glad you found it helpful. Carl, I'll, I know you've gone, but I'll speak to you in the morning. Maybe I'll get Carl on live next week. That would be good, don't you think? Because he's got some great sites going on. He's he's met up with Income School, and he, he's always on the stream, and he just knows loads of good stuff. I will thank the family there, hopefully mostly asleep. Um, but thank you, Stephanie, for joining us as usual. Really appreciate the support. So yeah, I'm gonna go. It's interesting that, that towards the end of the stream, the number of people watching seems to go up. I don't know why that is, but you've, if you've just joined us, you've missed it all. You've missed me trying to illustrate something without sharing my screen. You've missed us talking about building links. You've missed some of the fantastic site reviews. There were some really nice sites in tonight's site reviews. So um, if you did miss any of that, just rewind when the stream goes up and go take a look. But yeah, thank you all uh, for joining me. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next week, which I think will be the same time again, eight o'clock. I think that's gonna be the new time now going forward. It's gonna be on a Wednesday, eight o'clock. That's where we're at. Now I'm gonna try and find the um, the button. I've noticed that my head is also very shiny tonight. But hey, what can you do? I need to get a makeup artist or something to help me before I go live. Interesting thing is, I'm just looking at the live stats now. We definitely started at eight o'clock and it's now 10 past nine. Why does it say I've only been streaming for 48 minutes? That's a bit weird. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop the stream now. So I love you and leave you. Thank you very much. See you next time. I'm going to count down. It will cut me off. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's wait a minute.